Hi everyone. So I do always introduce the syllabus when we're in a face-to-face, -face, so I'm going to do a quick video. Uh, you might hear my son losing his mind in the background over Minecraft or the dogs uh, fighting, so just a typical day in the classroom for us now. Um, so welcome to 3761 Intermediate Graphic Design. Um, if you have not taken, and this should be updated, so let's go ahead and update it. If you have not taken uh, Art 3760, because we changed the number of that and changed that class a little bit, please let me know. 30, 3760, for those of you who are um, not remembering that number, is typography. Um, all right, so welcome. Uh, we are going to be dealing with both type and image here um, in this course, and so we're going to be dealing with the, the complex design systems, how to make visuals and text kind of relate a little bit more strongly. Um, I'm not going to cover all of these, um, but you should have um, a subscription to the Adobe Creative Cloud and you need your own computer, obviously, that will run Adobe Creative Cloud. If you do not um, have those things, then you should consider talking to uh, call over to the help desk immediately um, because you can actually get a loaner computer um, to make this class work. All right. So attendance is based on meeting course deadlines and for this course um, the deadlines are going to happen on Mondays and Wednesdays um, and we're going to look at the schedule real quick after we talk about this. My grading system is a little bit different. Um, you're actually going to get five points every time um, I ask you to do something. Um, but there are times when you'll get 10 points. So when we do progress critiques, you'll get 10 points. When we're just doing the day-to-day -day stuff, you'll get five points. Um, those do add up. Um, and those things end up being about 20% of your grade. 80% of your grade is um, visual work that you're going to be doing. We're going to be doing four projects. Um, and that's uh, four projects that are 20 points each. And they're you know similar to what I did before, but you're going to get five points cre uh, creativity, five points effort. So if you're not putting in the day-to-day -day effort or pushing forward or hearing feedback, um, you'll lose um, you'll lose points there. Uh, digital craft, obviously, because I am not able to um, it, you know see your hand skills, but how well you're putting things together and following directions on how things are put together. For example, um, our first project in this is a big poster and working in Photoshop. And if you aren't working with file sizes for your images that are going to allow you to have quality um, designs at the end, I will be able to evaluate that um, in the images you're sending me. And uh, purpose and focus. Uh, purpose and focus are the requirements of the project, but also how uh, focused and, and purposefully they are done for your, um, your client um, or the design, if there isn't a client. Um, and it's more of a design uh, experimentation. Um, this 20 point scale that I've always used um, is there and you can see that the, I have the five point, the 10 point and, um, and you know, the breakdown here. Um, course guidelines are a little bit different. Um, so I'm gonna ask that you um, read through those, but you know, be kind to each other in the discussion board. I talk about netiquette. netiquette. Um, etiquette online. Um, make sure that you're, if you're experiencing problems, you email me immediately so I can help find a solution if there is something that we can do. Um, and then obviously uh, Thursday, October 22nd is our drop date. Um, and the rest of these are the, the university policies that you'll see in every faculty's syllabus. So that's the syllabus in a, a nutshell, but you should read through it. You need to read through it because um, in week one, you are going to be doing this. Um, and here's, here's my videos.
for uh, one of the week one's posts, but you have read through all the posts for welcome syllabus requirements schedule, watched all the videos, commented on the discussion board that you've done all of the above and understand all the requirements and guidelines. Um, it's important for you to understand, by the way, I have a little thing in there that, that shows you how to schedule um, my office hours. I'll probably put titles on these um, because some of them are not titled or clear. Obviously, the welcome and the introduction are easy to do, but the scheduling is. Anyway, so um, there's that. The other thing that you will find um, with the, the uh, course syllabus is the schedule. And so um, this is basically what we'll be doing, um, not in broad strokes, but just what you can expect. Um, I am trying to do visual reviews of your work every Monday, although occasionally that may change. And then on Wednesdays, you'll be doing video discussions um, of either demonstrations um, or uh, design uh, content that I produce or that um, that uh, is on the on the YouTubes. Um, so that's a little bit about this, but absolutely you have to read through this. If you don't, you're putting yourself in peril um, because I will hold you to the standards. For example, I don't accept late work. Um, and we're all used to the online environment at this point. Um, we had our experience, you know, trial by fire in the spring during those six weeks. And I certainly was understanding of, um, you know, figuring out life um, during a, a pandemic. Um, we are uh, now old hats at that. And so I expect you to be in the classroom and working along the, the schedule. That is one of the reasons why for every post you're getting five points. Um, and those five points and 10 points add up really quickly if you're not doing them. Um, they basically could tank your grade to 80%. And then if you um, don't do well on a project, um, it could put your whole um, your whole grade in peril. So please don't do that. Um, there are some other things here, um, software minimum requirements, student support center, um, which I pointed out in my welcome video or my introduction video, one of the videos. Um, so I would take a look at that and um, then I would, and I pointed this out, check through these Blackboard orientations. These are pre-created um, for the Blackboard Ultra shell. We're in the newest shell, um, so that might be why it looks a little different for you this semester. Um, and that's it. Thanks.